Hello, my name is Gary Fisher from IO Integration and today I'm going to be talking to you about our new tool called IO Analytics. Now this tool has been designed purposely for Zynet administrators that need to be able to report on usage within the Zynet system but we also feel that we've extended on that functionality and we've also given you the ability to be able to report on things such as metadata usage um, and you can also check on what is actually occurring on your system. Who is doing searches, what are people searching upon, how long does it take, take to return those search results. So essentially the analytics tool is an application that sits on the portal server and it's its own application so it's not dependent on Zynet and it doesn't get broken upon update and all that that application is doing is making calls back to the Zynet database to be able to present you with your analytics. So from a user perspective, you can see here I have the standard out the box exhibit style. And the only thing you need to do to make analytics work inside Zynet is to add a tag. And you can see that I have a tag here inside exhibit. And if we click on that, it will launch the analytics tool into a new window. So you can see it's completely standalone from the actual application. Now, the thing about this tool is it is designed for administrators. This is not something that you're going to allow use with your customers directly. So we may add extra functionality to this at a later date, but for now, this is an admin tool and you can schedule reports to go to your clients automatically. So that's having a look at the button from within um, exhibits. Um, what I'm going to do now also is close down this window and I'm going to launch a new window, which is the um, which is the style that uh, IO integration have built called Transition. Now, just to show you, the only thing you need to do in Portal is to make a tag. You can see here in Transition, it's a completely different look and feel, but the tag is exactly the same. So if I click on that here on my demo system, you'll see that it launches into the analytics tool. So quickly running through this interface at the top level, uh, this is the nice look and feel area where you can get a quick update of what's happening on your system in the past sort of seven to 30 days. So this first area here, before we sort of move on onto these, onto these windows, you see we have the defaults button and if you click on that, it takes everything back to the default view. And on the view icon here, you can see that these are all of these windows that we have open so you can by default turn them on or off. So these are basically little uh, widgets that you can move around and you can scale them up and down and you can resize them in here and you can obviously scale them up and down in there. Um, you notice that I closed that one so to get that back I can click on defaults and it will return to the existing view. So talking through these windows, the first one disk use, this is looking at your Zynet volumes. So any volumes that you've set up within Zynet, this is where they will be displayed in this uh, analytics tool. So you can see that I've hovered above one of the volumes and it gives me the path to where that volume exists and the amount of data that's being used and when it was last updated. If you want to, you can also turn off specific volumes and only view the ones that you need to see. So you can also do that from within the tool. Moving to the right, uh, this is one's pretty self-explanatory. These are the most popular downloads in the last 30 days. So in here you can see we have um, all of the downloads that have been very popular. This one here, for example, has been downloaded five times in the past 30 days. This one two times, this one two times. Now, if you want to, you can also click onto that and it will take you to Media Viewer and it will take you to the detailed history from within Zynet. So from here, you can very quickly look at the usage of that file from previous users. Below that, we have the last five uploads, and the last five uploads are exactly as, as described, the last things that got uploaded into the Zynet system. And again, if you click onto any one of those assets, it will take you to the media viewer, and you can get a more detailed look of the actual file. Um, in this particular release, we've set this to the last 30 days and the last five uploads. Now that is a setting that you can change uh, on the XML at the back end, um, but as we release further versions of this tool, uh, it's highly likely that we will put some configuration options here inside the GUI as well. 
Moving to the left here, we have this area here called search statistics. Now this is a really important part of the analytics tool. Quite often, administrators may set up um, metadata schemas within their Zynet system, and they're kind of reliant that the, the metadata schema is correct. Now this tool gives you the ability to see what people have been searching for. Um, so you can see here, someone searched for the word orange. They searched for that twice. Um, the average result returned on that is two, two items that have been found, and the average time to do that search has been one second. This one here, Tropics, has been used twice, and the average return results are for 67 results. So very quickly, you can identify um, that, that these things are being searched upon and are being used. And where this might also be useful, so if we look at this one here, Mango, for example, um, it found 25 results, but the average time to return a result was four seconds. So you as an administrator might now decide that you're going to go and index that metadata field to make it quicker when people search upon it. So you can make some intelligent decisions on your metadata looking at the search results. Even more important to that, um, if you look below, we have this one here, zero search results in the last seven days. And this is showing us all of the results where people have done a search but not found anything. So this is actually cru uh, crucial to, to what you're trying to achieve in the Zynet system. Because if people are searching for things that have not been tagged with metadata or that metadata doesn't exist, then this is a great opportunity to identify that and maybe add that information into your metadata schemas. So for example, someone here searched for the term Belgium. Uh, they searched for it once and they didn't find anything. So I may want to go back and add Belgium to um, my metadata category of region or something like that. So lots of um, stuff that you can use inside that area, which is really useful. Now, just looking at the, the other bits and pieces here at the top, um, you'll see here we have uh, the ability to download a detailed search history. So if we click on that, what that will do is it will download a CSV file to my desktop. And if we click on that, it will open it up in Excel and it will give us all of the results that we just uh, were looking at from within the uh, web browser. So a really nice, quick and easy way. And once you've got that CSV file, you may want to mine that data further. And again, in, for, in future releases, we may include some other options here in the GUI to maybe increase the amount of um, days that you want to pull back, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so the last thing down the bottom here is um, the events table. So these are the daily events that have occurred in the last 30 days. Now I'm showing this demo from my demo system. Um, so it's not a live production system, hence why there's not a lot of activity on this particular server. Uh, but the nice little graph here, uh, you have the ability to pause that. And once you pause it, you can then look at the results. So let's pause it here. And you can see that on April the 9th, for example, uh, there was no image orders, but there were not 893 files that were created. And along the top, you have a matrix here, which sort of explains and gives you the color code. So for example, maybe I don't want to know anything about uh, files that were image ordered, so I could turn that off. I don't care about uploads. I don't care about downloads or copied. So as you can see, you can just go through and turn off the things that you, you want to see or you don't want to see. Now, the other thing you can do here is if you click on this button here, you can show totals and that gives you a quick summary of the last 30 days. So the amount of files that were created, copied, downloaded, uploaded or image ordered. So it's a really nice quick snapshot into um, that area. So that's the, the first tab. The second tab along the top here is event reports. Now, if we click onto that, this is where the system um, really does become very, very useful for you and your clients. So you have the ability here to select users, groups, or volumes. Now, if we select users, you'll see that you've got the A to Z structure, and you can go down and specifically select a specific user if you want to do a report on a particular person. Uh, you also have that ability with groups. So if you've got groups set up, I've got a production studio group, maybe I want to do a report on that group. Or you can do it on Zynet volumes. Now this is quite interesting because you might actually go down into a specific part of the file system and I only care about um, this area here called TV spots 
and I could do a specific report on a specific part of the Zynet volume. So lots of options there to be very specific or granular, or you can search across all of those things, uh, whatever tab you've selected. So I'm gonna put in a date range. I'm going to say that I want to search from January the 1st to uh, today's date. And these are all of the events that I'm able to search upon. So if I um, clear everything and then select everything. So I'm gonna do a report on absolutely everything. And underneath here, we have two other options. We've got online only. If you tick that, it will only search for files that are currently online on the file system. If that is unticked, it will also search on anything that's stored in the Venture database. So that might be archives, uh, files that have been deleted, all of that type of thing. Include directories allows you to also search on the directories as well if you want to. So once you've done that, you can click on display summary and you'll get this nice visual graph that displays and you might want to then turn off some of the settings. I don't care about the metadata that's changed and I might want to change, click on display summary again and very quickly it will adjust that graph on the fly. So this one here is files created. Let's turn that one off as well. Click on display summary and again, the graph will change. So along the bottom, it will tell us what, we were, what we're looking at. So this is the files that were copied. And if I click onto that particular bar chart, it will then give me a nice visual summary of all of the files that were copied within that area. So here, for example, these are the download high res. I clicked on this one just to speed up the, the uh, display. Um, so you can see in here that we have uh, a preview of the files, the file name, uh, and the path it was downloaded. And you actually have the ability here to go through all of these fields and turn off ones that you don't really care about. Um, so you can come in here and you can say, actually, I don't care about the file name and I don't care about, let's click on that again. Excuse me. Uh, I don't care about when it was created. And I don't care about the backup file size when it was accessed, modified. So as you can see, you can filter down to what you want to display. And then from there, you can sort of view that uh, in M view, or you can view it through the events. Okay, so that's the, the visual graph. But now how do you report on that? So you have this other button here. Uh, you can download the report directly to your desktop as a CSV. So you can see that it's just done that now. And if we click on that, you'll see that we've got all of the files that have reported back and it's got all of these columns here with a one or a zero depending on, uh, or a seven in this case where it, it's been previewed seven times. So very quickly you can go through this list. You might want to mine that data and do some additional filters from within Excel. Or you can click on manage reports. And if you click on manage reports, this is where you can see I've already got some reports set up here at the top. Or you might want to go and create another new report specifically for a client. So you come in here, you give the report a title. So I'm going to say uh, demo and you can give the thing uh, a description. This, this is a demo report. And from here, you can specify how you want that to report to be delivered. Do you want it to be emailed, FTP, HTTP, SCP? And if you change the settings, say for example I click on FTP, you'll see that it will then ask us for the FTP details. If we go back to email, it will change it to the email template. So because it's an email, we have the ability to select what language. So these are pulling the language strings from the back end Zynet system. So you can select your language. We have some mail templates here, um, the keyword report or the event report. Uh, you can select either one of those. You can also add your own mail templates in here if you want to. And from here, we can basically uh, add our email addresses. So gfisher at iointegration.com. And we add that user in here and demo at zonetbooth.com. Click on the plus icon and you just add whatever users or groups you need to add to that report. This button here, this is basically telling us how many days we want to go back on that report. So I care about the last 31 days and I want that report to be delivered every seven days or every 14 days or however many days that you need that to be reported on. 
The options below that include summaries. This is the quick summary that just gives you a quick overview of the total. So it might say 34 files were downloaded, 200 were uploaded, etc, etc. If you include details, that will also give you another report and that will break that down into a lot more granular details. So it will list all the 34 files that were uploaded, for example. If you click on enable report, that will then make that report uh, occur every 14 days as you specified here. And then you, the last option is how many, how you want that to be displayed in kilobytes, megabytes or gigabytes. We've left it as megabytes. And once that report's run, you'll be able to come back in here and see when that report was last run. So if you save that, that will then um, successfully save the report. And then if you, obviously it's scheduled to run every seven days, but you can also click it off manually by clicking on this little icon here and the report will run. And if we go to our email and we go to this area, you'll see that we've um, received our automated uh, report. And if we click on that, it will give us all of the summaries. This is the, the quick summary of files, copies, deleted, etc, etc. And the next one here is the full path that gives you the history of everything. So for example, this file here, Tropics video, was previewed 35 times. This one 56 times, etc, etc, until you get all the stats that you require. Okay, so that's... Um, that's how you generate the reports. I'm just gonna execute another one just to show you a different look and feel. Uh, let me click on this one here, customer activity for the last year. If I run that report, you see that one's run successfully. And if I go to my email, you'll see that this one here gives us uh, the summary. So that one's the summary email. And if we run this one, um, this one's gonna give us a more detailed, uh, better look and feel email. So let's go back to our email. And you'll see that this one gives us actually a graph and account and also attaches the two files to it as well. So really nice, you can have a visual uh, email as well and that's all done in the HTML template that you set up or you use the default ones that we ship with. Okay, so that's the uh, event reporting and the last tab is keyword reports. Now this is really, really great functionality. So you can select uh, whatever volume you like um, or you could just leave it at the top level. And what this does, it actually goes to your Zynet system and it identifies all of the metadata templates that you've got set up for your users and groups. So I have a template called Demo, and when I select that, it will show me all of the metadata fields that are assigned to that template called Demo. So I might want to do a report on my metadata status. Um, I might want to find out Maybe we go and purchase all of our images from stock photography and they are supposed to all have an expiry date so that they don't get used after a certain date so that we don't get sued. So for example, I select usage end date and I want to find out every single usage end date that has not had an entry filled in. So I select null and I click on display summary and that will show us a preview of all of the files that have not had... Um, that have not had that metadata filled in and very quickly you can identify those files and then you can also go to manage reports and you can actually set up a report on that as well the same as we did in the previous window so it's a really great way for administrators or taxonomists that are administrating the system to be able to actually do reports on metadata usage um, find out what fields have been filled in find out what fields have not been filled in, um, and it's a really great way to be able to do that kind of a report. So that's the analytics tool. Um, I highly recommend if you are interested, we can give you a much more detailed demonstration. Um, so please contact your IO integration uh, rep, and they will be happy to set that up for you. Thank you very much.